to get a model easily, how to get your own model, and then to easily get it onto a hugging face, into a hugging face space, where you can interact with it then on hugging space. So diving into, first of all, how do you get your model? Uh, there's essentially, I'm going to give you three methods, like the very simplest method that you can do, a little bit more complex from there, but still very simple, uh, and then a little bit more complex from there, but still very simple, <laughs> and then like kind of three options. So the very first option uh, is a lazy, it's a uh, repository called Lazy Merge Kit, and then this is essentially like the simplest and laziest way that you can get your own model, which is just merging two models together, two existing models together, right? Uh, and then, so the only thing to keep in mind with Lazy Merge Kit here, with this specific version of Lazy Merge Kit and what we're looking at here, you do want to make sure that the models are uh, the same, like, same architecture, same shape, etc. So it's best to use, like, so for example, this one is preloaded with two versions of the Mistral model and two different fine tunes of the Mistral model, and then it merges those two different fine tunes, but it's two fine tunes of Mistral, right? <clears throat> and then so you do want to keep that in mind. And then really all you need to adjust in this code is you give your model a name and then you pick the sources, right? And then these sources are the two models that you want to combine together, whatever two that you pick. Uh, and then you don't need to adjust anything else. You give it a runtime, you can uh, leave it for CPU and then you can adjust it to GPU and you can adjust these things if you'd like. And if you you have to pay more, obviously, like if you have Colab, uh, Colab Pro or things like that, but you can utilize those things. You don't really have to touch anything in here. You do want to and have to put in your Hucking Face token and, and, and your username, and then that's it. So username, your, your Hucking Face token, and the name of two models. If you can do that, you can create a model. <laughs> and then... Uh, this at the end of it, very end of it, uploads it to the Hugging Face Hub for you, uh, and then so you have it like in your in your um, Hugging Face Hub. Like if you click on your username, you go there, you'll see it directly there in your models, right? And then so very straightforward, and that solves step number one of getting us getting it to our spaces. And then we'll look in a second as to how we're gonna get it um, like to an actual space from there. But that gets us to our space in Hugging Face, and then so. This covers like the simplest method, right? Like we're not even building an, any sort of LLM model. Uh, we're not fine tuning any sort of model from scratch. We're just merging two existing models and that's all we're doing. And then the next step up from there would be to, instead of just simply merging two models together, we have a Claude 3, uh, like the, you know, good, good guy Claude 3 will create and fine tune our own model model for us. And then so this notebook, it's pretty straightforward here. It's, uh, it's essentially, you do need an Anthropic token for this. So then you put in essentially your, uh, and all you need to do is you put in your Anthropic API key and then you have the prompt. And the prompt is what you want your model to be. And then so in this instance, the example is a model that takes in puzzle-like reasoning, heavy question in English and responds with a well-reasoned step-by-step thought out response in Spanish. So. This essentially creates like a uh, English to Spanish translator using Claude 3 to train Llama 2. Um, and that's essentially what you get out of this. It's completely straightforward. The code here, uh, this is um, just all the training parameters. It's taking in your key. It's usually utilizing Claude 3 Haiku. And then you can change this and adjust this, right? So it's defaulting to Claude 3 Haiku. If you want to use uh, 3 Haiku, you would just comment this out and then uncomment the Claude 3 Opus. And then it gives you the highest end model and you pay the most money for that, of course, but uh, then you can utilize that. It auto generates examples and then it generates and then feeds these examples to the model. And then that's how it trains the model essentially uh, by putting them, creating them into a data set <laughs> uh, and then goes through, you define the happy parameters for your training, utilizing the atom optimizer. Uh, it's going to quantize it into 16 bits. Um, so it'll be a 16 bit model. That's why you see the float 30, 16 bit there. Uh, and then it'll load your training bit, uh, load your training data and your training model, and train your model. Uh, and then it'll train it, upload it to Google Drive, and then from there you can upload it to your Hugging Face repository and hub. So this one, there's a lot more uh, steps involved <laughs> as far as the code, right? And then you do have to like uh, go through and, and actually like train your model. Um, but uh, with this, it's 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 like so. 
you don't even have to get data. Like the cloud will make the data for you, right? It's just, you have to set this up, do some configuring in this notebook, do some like do a little bit of work, um, and then Claude will train your model, <laughs> and and that's like kind of all there is to it, right? And then so simply here, so simplest solution is just merging the two together. Second simplest solution is having Claude train your model directly for you off of Claude generating the data and you know doing the whole entire thing. And then so uh, next step is. Uh, Let's actually like do something ourselves and then you know let's create our own data sets and then upload our own data set and then in this instance we'll uh, fine tune a Phi2 model and, and then I choose Phi2 in this instance and I like this notebook very specifically because you can do all this for free, right? Um, you just connect the T4 um, which is the GPU in this instance uh, and then generally speaking just depending on the size of your data set as long as you're not going crazy there you're looking at about a half an hour to 20 to 45 minutes of training time. Uh, to train your fine tune model utilizing this method and it comes out pretty good. So very straightforward. You just got a bunch of packages that you install. You install your own hugging face token. Uh, and then from there you choose your environment, you choose the base model, give it a name, choose your data set, make sure that your data set loads in properly, make sure that's in prompt response uh, format. So uh, one you know one column prompt, one response, that's it. If you have that correctly. Uh, then you want to install this EINL OPS package, which is like, um, it's very specifically for machine learning mathematics and breaking down the mathematics in it specifically. I forget what the acronym stands for. I think it's Einstein. Um, it's Einstein something. Um, but it's very specifically for uh, the machine learning mathematics um, behind it uh, and crunching that. And then you load your, uh, essentially your trainer. Uh, and then in this instance, we're loading again our good friend Adam. We're quantizing this model down to four bits, so we're quantizing it down quite a bit. The other one was quantized to 16 bits, so this one with this running uh, will quantize down to a four bit model. Um, and then uh, we'll run, and then you get your training results. Um, and then um, that's it from there. It, like uh, you run, num choose the number of epochs, it's defaulting here to three. You can change it to five, 10, whatever you'd like. And then it's 32 steps per uh, training step. And then um, it is logging steps every 25 steps. And so really straightforward as to what it does there. And then you get your benchmarks at the end. So you get all of your tests and it'll show you exactly how your model performed on your train loss. Uh, and then from there, uh, you can play around with your model, ask it questions, and then you essentially, there's this kind of cool step that they build directly into this notebook. So it's very, essentially what you do is you save this model uh, to like the local notebook and then you dump the RAM from the notebook then you reload the notebook um, reload the model in floating point 16 so quantized model uh, and then that's how you upload it directly to Hugging Face and then so they do all the work for you and they know and they did all the equations for you and that's why you have to do the, the, the RAM dump um, so but they take care of all the math for you and that so <laughs> bottom line is is that all you have to do in this instance is uh, create your data set and then link your data set from Hugging Face. And I'll show you that really straightforward. We just go to like Hugging Face. And if I go to my profile, for example. I've got models and data sets here, and then so if I just pick one of these data sets, uh, like, you know, like any one, and I just click into it, and I'll just copy this data set, and then this data set name, and then it's, in this instance, the data set name is Turing Solutions slash Laramer Episodic Memory 100, and that's the full name of it, right? Uh, and then I just put that full name in into uh, the notebook, into the data set, and you can see in this particular instance, this data set's already split into prompt and response pairs, which is exactly how you want it to load for the five fine tuner. Uh, and then that's it, right? And then from there, you just go through and then you load your model. Um, and then so what this does, and then what we've done so far uh, with all of these, right, is it gets you to this point here, where so then you've got data sets and you've got models uh, in your, um, your personal space at this point. But at this point, you don't have spaces, right? Which is what you really want. You want to get these models to spaces so that you can play around with them. Like you can actually like go through, you know, click on the model and then we go through and like we can actually like 
interact and, and you know play with our model like like anyone would would, would actually want to we ask it questions uh, and then you know get responses uh, directly from from a model that we've trained and fine tuned and then so how do we do this how do we get uh, to this point here where we're interacting uh, kind of like on this website directly and very specifically very specifically and very easily we use this last notebook here very easily it's called zero chat and then so zero chat is one of the, it's like just as easy as merch kit <laughs> within this right so once you get to this step it's really simple uh, you just essentially you give the the model ID of the model that you've trained so uh, once you've trained it so in this instance you pick one of the models like from from your um, uh, your like your particular model store uh, and then the chat template there's either the instruct or the chat um, and then so that depends on your model most of the time I, I'm assuming that you're gonna want to go with chat there'd be some instances where if it's an instruct model you want to go with instruct you give it a description max context link and then a color of the space, so purple, yellow, and amber, uh, and then the emoji. This, those are all related to the space, purple, yellow, amber, and the emoji. <laughs> uh, and then you put in your own token, uh, and then your username, where you want the space to go into, uh, and then that's it. Like, so even simpler than a lazy merge kit at that point, right? And then boom, you've got it. Look, Jedi Fi Potty Wong. There's the emoji, then the colors that we pick. Uh, and everything like that and it's loaded and ready to go and then so from that from just a very few simple steps from even lazy merge kit to, to zero chat uh, within like 10 15 minutes you can be up online with your own model um, in hugging face and up online with uh, your own model within hugging face for whatever you want to use it for I'll leave the description uh, and the link to the description to all four of these collab notebooks so you can utilize and pick and choose any one of them uh, and then hopefully they're pretty intuitive to you so it, like if you don't know code you're going to be playing around and, and you're going to no matter what i say or what these notebooks do uh, if you don't know what they're doing at all you're going to be stumbling around if you have some sort of idea of python whatsoever these are going to be just really easy for you to do uh, and then no matter which one that you choose so so that's you as to what path that you want to take and hopefully these uh, help you and assist you no matter what path you're taking there. So if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.